Transcription is a process similar to DNA replication. Cells make a new nucleic acid molecule using a DNA template and following the rules of complementary base pairing. But in transcription, cells make only one new strand of nucleic acid, not two. A single-stranded RNA molecule carries the same information that's contained in one DNA strand within a gene. The RNA copy carries the genetic information into the cytoplasm, where the encoded information then directs the formation of a protein. For example, to make the anti-clotting AT3 protein, cells first transcribe the AT3 gene into AT3 RNA. Let's follow the process of transcription at the molecular level. Here we see a short segment of DNA representing a gene. Keep in mind that in reality genes are really much longer, typically thousands of base pairs long. To start the process of transcription, the strands of DNA in a gene separate, exposing the bases. In this gene, bases on the coding strand of DNA pair with complementary bases floating about as free nucleotides. To make RNA, the RNA polymerase enzyme allows only nucleotides containing the sugar ribose to diffuse next to the DNA strand. Just as with DNA replication, guanine binds with cytosine, regardless of whether the base is on the parent strand or in a free nucleotide. Also, adenine still binds to thymine on the DNA. But when making RNA, uracil, not thymine, binds to adenine on the DNA. To make an intact RNA, the enzyme RNA polymerase joins the RNA nucleotides together. The enzyme links the individual nucleotides together one by one as the right ones settle in place. Just as with DNA replication, the RNA strand forms in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. Transcription is complete. Complementary bonds reform between the two strands of DNA. The RNA contains a copy of the gene.